Day two, here it comes. Yeah, right? We're back at the audio control booth, our official sponsor of Knowledge Fest, Long Beach, California, 2020. It's been a good time. We wanted to do this live, as you guys know, it just wasn't gonna happen. But enough of that. Let's just start this off on a positive note. We got the audio control booth. We're gonna end in the audio control booth. Eh. We're gonna end in the, I know, right? We're gonna end in the audio control booth today. So we gotta present Chris and Matthew with a little gift that we came up with for, right. for them. Apparently I can't talk. Well, uh, real quick, if you guys haven't watched the first one, this is the, uh, this is the demo card that they have. Awesome. Tesla. Uh, don't Go back and watch share. the first one. Yeah, don't that makes more share sense. The audio control website. Uh, and let's go. Sure. Yeah. You want to say ah one more time? I feel like I'm at a doctor's office. Ah. All right. Let's head out. We did this side yesterday. We're gonna do that side today. So we got a bunch more brands and a lot of fun and excitement that's coming your way. We're gonna walk up here to the front where we left off. And hey, hey. Um, yeah. Let's just head that way. So the first booth up on our list of things to do is the Sony booth. Yay. So let's see what we got going on here. All right, we'll start with the floating radio, which seems to be the big hit. Look at that. So we have... This is the new one, the XAV AX8000. So it is a single DIN. That's right. Moving on. You know, the 7,000. A lot of guys like to do these. Jeeps and whatnot. 5,000, 1,000. And what's nice is now these are all Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We've got an official catalog here. Let's move on. Now we talked about Sony this year at for CES. They really didn't do anything crazy this year. We already knew about the floating radio. Most of you guys have already seen that. Mm -hmm. But stay tuned to Sony. I think they're gonna bring a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, a couple of these manufacturers this year are gonna be a little late. I don't think they're sticking to that January schedule. It's all right, I have. I, I think they're gonna be doing some big stuff later this year. So if you're a Sony fan, definitely stay tuned to that. We have Idata Maestro. That guy. Look, you can, it's like, anyways. So we have the MFT one, MFT you guys one. know this. Uh -huh. We have the Dodge Durango kit. We actually have one of these in if anybody has any questions about it. Oh, there it is right there. Yep, the hub replacement. We have the Camaro kit. Yay. Hey, that's Matt. Matt, what's going on, buddy? Oh, guys, how, doing, how you doing? What do we got to look forward to new for 2020? Well, we have a couple kits coming out. Um, we're working on Jeep Grand Cherokee right now. Uh, that should be out next month. Okay. So, um, and then there's a couple other kits that we're working on. I don't know if I can talk about all of them, but uh, one is going to be Pacifica. Um, and we're debating on if we're going to do Equinox. I think Equinox and Blazer. All right, so if you guys have an Equinox or what, the new Blazer? Uh, no, it wouldn't be new. Okay, new. so that Equinox but platform. I think the Equinox Blazer is the same dash. Yeah, so if, you guys, so if you guys are interested in that kit, make sure you let us know in the comments, and we'll let Matt know so yeah. that he can tell Mark that they have to build that. <laughs> yes. I don't yeah, I'm not the one anything. that makes the decision. That's I just, right. I just talk about it. Same thing for me. Smile and wave, guys. Yeah, and then as, as far as T-harnesses go, yeah. uh, we're really focused on Hyundai and Kia right now. So, oh, that's going to make uh, so, so have, many people happy. Yeah, so we have HK1 out right now, the, the, which covers a lot of vehicles, but it's all the non-amplified Hyundai Kia. All right, all right. HK2 will be out soon, which will cover all the amplified. And then we'll have HK3 coming soon, which will cover the new CarPlay amplified models. Ooh. And then we'll also have our, our A series harnesses, which is for DSR1 and AR for Hyundai Kia as well. Okay. That's the one we want right there, man. Yeah, so if you have a customer or if you have somebody that wants to keep their factory Hyundai Kia radio but upgrade their audio and they have premium audio, that's what you'll use is, is HK, well, I mean, H, AHK1, an AHK2, and an AHK3, I believe. So, Are they going to do Honda, the new Hondas at all this year? Is that on the roadmap? 
it is on the roadmap. I honestly, I don't know when what the ETA is on it, but I know uh, we have H01 and we're working on you know covering it, covering like the yeah, Ford as an example. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you guys gonna work on like a Nissan or something like that? Yeah, we are working on Nissan. Um, I don't know what the ETA is on it, but I know it is something that we're working on. Now you guys came out with some new harnesses for the DSR one yep. or for yes. non-premium systems yep. that were just allowing it to tee in high level to low level. Tell me about those. Yeah, so that would be our D series uh, T harness. So again, it, it works with uh, DSR one and AR, but if you have non-amplified, so it's just deck power. Um, and the benefit of it is, is that, uh, and I'll show you our. I have our our first one that shipped is, is for Chrysler, um, and it just goes behind the radio. You unplug it, your factory, you know, screen, plug it into here, and then this goes back into the screen. We just give you all your connections right into the DSR one, and then we also give you all your speaker wire. So it's really it's just you don't have to cut anything. It's right. just, you know, plugs in. It's a really nice, clean install. Um, you still have to run, you know, get your RCAs and stuff back to your amp. But, no, of course. But, it's, but more, it, it's more friendly to install. Yeah, and if you ever want to take it out and Plug you turn it to factory, it's just, you know, you don't have to cut anything, which makes And sense that's what I was looking for. I hate the term plug and play. I like the term let's not screw up the dash. Let's not cut anything. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, it guys, isn't really plug and play because you, no, have, there's, to, you <laughs> have to do some programming on the radio. Oh, yeah. And, and, and you obviously you got to do a fair amount of installation as far as the amplifier goes, but you're not cutting any of the factory wiring, which is really what we want to avoid. Now, let's Definitely. talk about that. You yeah. know, a lot of people uh, are excited about the RR2. Yep. Um, so it's, so it's finally shipping now. So so you can you can order it today. Um, some of the features we are we haven't you know pushed live yet, like the Bluetooth flashing, but uh, it will be available soon. So the RR2 is going to continue, or the RR is going to continue. The RR2 will just be a, a premium, an upgrade, right? You'll get some additional features with the RR2, and those will include the, the wireless Bluetooth flashing. We have three programmable outputs. And, and that's benefits, the cool part. Yeah, so the benefits of the programmable outputs are if you have something in the vehicle that's on data and you want to get an analog 12-volt output, that's what these programmable outputs will do. So, you know, you can you know, turn on exterior lighting, interior lighting, whatever you can think of that runs on 12 volts, and you want to use a button inside the car that's on can or maybe a, uh, an ADAS system, blind spot detection, you need turn signal. You know, data, we will provide all of that. I use mine so when I put my car in reverse, it automatically shuts off the audio system. All right, so I have a question. So I don't have uh, sound in reverse. I have a customer, uh, they have the RR, mm -hmm. and they want to upgrade it. Yep. Harness, the same? Yep, exactly the same harnesses. Um, so whether you're, you're doing RR or, or RR2, same harness. The one thing I will say is it has a third CAN channel, where the RR only has two CAN channels. So there will be some applications going forward that will require an RR2. But when you go to our fit guide, it will tell you that. Uh, those will be like some of the new Hyundai Kia harnesses. Now, when will the consumer flashing software be available for the RR2? The what? The consumer ability to flash the dip switches, the three outputs. Has that been updated in the software yet? No, so it's not part of WebLink yet. Um, anybody, when you flash it, when you print the guide or you go to the guide online, there's a link at the bottom of the guide that says so, programmable output, um, our programmable output loader. Okay. It is only available for PC right now. Um, it will eventually be incorporated in WebLink Desktop, so it'll just be part of the process, but it's a relatively new thing for us. We really want to make sure that it's everybody's... Ex it's one, expensive to develop software. It is, and we don't want it, we don't want it to be... You know, we find something that you know you guys say you should change this, and now we got to go to our. our what, what are you trying to say, yeah, man? What are you trying to say? Yeah. So, but anyone can download that software. Yep, you can download it today. Okay, so Available. consumers, retailers, anyone can download. All right, that's awesome. As long cool. As, it, as long as it's Windows. On a PC. Ah, uh, PC. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Matt. You got it. Thank thanks, you guys. guys. Appreciate it. All right. Now let's jump to. JL Audio, let's see what we got going on here. So, marine amps are available now yep, with the most them, them controversial connectors as far as like people you love them or you hate them. These guys are, I had you know, they're big, they're weird, they're different. Um, but I love the software that these guys have, yeah, it's yeah. really nice. We just, of course, just picked up the fix to play with. What's going on, man? What's going on? How are you guys doing? Good, We're How doing. Are what do we got Fantastic. new? 
Uh, what do we have new? Um, or just tell us what you want us to know. Good amount of stuff, actually. Um, our new line is you guys checking out our MBI amplifier. Yes. Here, which, uh, we're really excited about uh, it's a new marine grade uh, DSP amplifier based off of our car VXI line. So the idea with MBI, uh, what really makes it unique in the marine environment is the fact that we have multiple pre-outs. So this six channel amp here actually, even though it's only six channels of analog output for your speakers, it actually has eight channels of input. And on top of your six channels of output, we also have three pairs of analog pre-outs that have full DSP processing. So is that for like multi-zone? Yeah, so like if you're doing a, a large boat, maybe you have um, a source unit that has four zones, you can actually run all four zones into one amplifier. And then with the pre-outs, we can run those out to the other amps and have full DSP tuning capabilities. And that's really awesome. nice, maybe if you're upgrading, a, a, you have a boat that comes into your shop with a factory system already, if you put this in front, we can now take those regular generic amplifiers that we've used our whole career and now bless them with the intelligence of DSP <laughs> from the pre out so we can make them intelligent. Bless uh, them. It's really cool. So. Dominus forgiveness. <laughs> so, yeah. Bless now. That's right. You know, you know we kind of joke, you know, we're going to take a dumb amp because it doesn't have intelligence. It's just, you know, pro, you know, boosting up voltage and uh, give it the intelligence of DSP processing, which is uh, something on the Marine side we're really excited about. You know, when we do our trainings on these, we're really pushing for the retailers to take advantage of the presets. Okay. And what you can do in our software is you can actually create different colored systems. Mm -hmm. And we have a really cool IP67 push button preset selector. So maybe one preset, it's full throttle, so all the outputs are gained up a bit. And uh, maybe you have a preset on a tow boat that turns the tower speakers on when someone's behind the boat. And when they're not behind the boat, you can change the preset and completely kill that zone. So Whoa. people in the vessel aren't going deaf from, you know, 88 towers above your head. Nice. Or uh, maybe that's that's on, cool. uh, dock mode where it kills the speakers in the boat, but the speakers that are playing outside of the vessel are still on. So there's a lot of flexibility for the retailers to uh, really just get some extra profitability, labor dollars, and really allow their customers to get every little bit out of their investment by having different systems for how they're using their vessel. And that also works with our car ones as well. So, uh, now, cool. are these are these like stackable DSP just like these? I mean, you can run multiple of them on one piece of software? Yeah, so um, like our VXIs, we also have what's called the MVI hub. And with that, if we go to our uh, network tab right up here, right Oh yeah, there we're it is. They in, cool, they cool. Okay. We're not plugged into a hub right now, but if we okay. did have a hub, I would see both of these MPIs right here, and then I can just click and pick the amplifier that I want to tune. What's also nice now, instead of just going and adjusting this amp and transfer, adjusting this amp and transfer, everything's now done on a overall global network. Okay. What's cool about that is, let's say you, uh, uh, you have an antique boat you did. You're okay. doing business for a dealership and you're gonna recreate that same system. Once you do the first install and you create that first project file, after you install the amps, all you have to do is plug into the network, transfer to network, bam! All of the amps are flashed at the same time and it's up and going. Uh, really, really great. Okay, cool. I like that. So, yeah, that's pretty so awesome. A lot of thought went into this to make it easier for installers in the install bay to do things more efficiently and also the flexibility to make sure our customers can really have different applications. Now, the software is the same as the VXI? Yeah, it's uh, still our 2, 2, it's 2 3.1 now. And yeah, if we click this little icon right here, it'll allow us to either pick um, VXI or MBI, tweak or fix. So this one software works for all four of our DSP So products. you can mix in between uh, the marine amplifiers and the amplifiers? Yeah, so, um, the marine amps do use the same communication protocol as VXI, so you can actually mix them with the hubs. Uh, the firmware is the same. There are some differences on the marine amps. We don't do high res processing like we do on the VXI. It's we a don't boat. Have the digital. Right. But that's important because by not doing high res, it opened up horsepower for us to have the multiple pairs of pre outs. We can do up to 39 feet of signal delay on MVI. Which on a vessel, you have a large vessel, you want a sweet spot where everything gets to the center of the boat. Some of these yachts, we have 30, 40 feet between speakers, so we can yeah. actually delay a speaker up to 40 feet on MBI. So that no, not high res, you don't need a high res in a boat, but that extra horsepower allows us to do a lot of more things that make sense in the marine environment. That's really cool. We just get the. We got a tweak. Yeah, we got a tweak. We play. 
Yeah, it got approved. I liked it, okay? But I liked it because of this. It's Mac compatible. Yeah. You know. Windows, Mac, um, on the mobile side, we have iPad and Android with our two mobile software, which connects through Bluetooth. On an iPad or an Android tablet, it's identical to the computer. It's just a mobile. And then if you want to just treat it like a regular everyday amplifier, we have Tune Express. Tune Express is for uh, phones only. Well, phones and tablets, I should okay. say. But what that does is it allows you to really just treat this like an everyday amp. You go in, you set your crossover point, you set your input sensitivity, your output trim, and you're done. It's like treating it like an everyday amplifier. And I, that's important for us because DSP is still scary for a lot of guys in our business. Like, yeah. they see all of this and they, they, want to, <laughs> they want to sell the most expensive amp. So if you're not comfortable getting in all of this, or maybe your customer doesn't want to pay for tuning, Tune Express just allows you to treat it like a great sound in everyday amplifier. And that was our goal to make it not as intimidating for installers. And if you don't want to do all of this, if this is too much, bam, bam, bam. Love it. Cool. Speakers and the line is the same. We have a new M7 phone right here. This is our new 35 something pound um, infinite baffle marine subwoofer. Jeez. So, um, larger voice coil than a 13W7, and the output of one of these 12 is equivalent to two of our M610s. So the massive motor structure and the amount of excursion on this thing, it'll move the same air as two of our 10s in the M6 family. Uh, wow. This one doesn't have it, but it is optional. Um, LED grill? LED lighting. So what's unique about the M6 and M7 line, um, we'll look at those ones in a sec, but instead of doing a traditional, like we have on M3, where they have uh, LEDs in the front, the actual entire top frame of the so if this was an LED model, the entire top of the basket here, I think on this model we have like 57 LEDs that align the entire top of the frame. And the, just close the, the, the cone? cone is patented. It's called a transflective cone, and that's a patent for us that allows a light to shine through it. And when it shines through it, we have one on the display over here. Oh, we gotta go see this. It's just oh, stunning wow. how these look. Dude, that is there are no sexy. visible hot spots because they're behind the cone. Wow. And there's so many freaking LEDs, it gives you that Dude. nice, perfect oh, even. Oh, that is so nice. You can actually see the difference in between the other ones yes. and, and this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, they're, they're, it's just beautiful. Um, that is sexy. Oh, wow. One yeah, thing like you tell our dealers to be aware of is we have a considerably more LEDs than a lot of other speakers. Okay. That 12 inch there has almost an amp of current drop. I was going to say, it's got to draw something. some power. Um, we have tested our controller. We put like 50 tens okay. on it with no current issues. Okay. Um, so it's a uh, yeah, really cool technology we worked a lot on. Um, modular on our sport grill so the grill can come off the tweeter bridge can come off you can swap out the colors on those oh there um, you go. which on our old models you'd actually would have to break the tweeter out if you wanted to paint all of this oh that's so cool it's actually a patented tweeter bridge this is the pattern as well that allows the tweeter to mount to the frame and then these parts can all come off which also is great for replacement as well that's super sexy that awesome, man. Thank well you so dude thank you not a problem, guys. Yep, thank you all right let's keep moving Wow, that's some really nice stuff. Hey, MSC. So you guys know these guys. They make Helix. They're the distributor for them. So we got Helix. We got Bam. We got our buddies over here. Jason Digos. Jason, hey. we're doing our show. Let's talk about some stuff that we want people to know about. How are you doing today? Pretty how good. How are you? Can I introduce you guys to Key Bonneville from Glam? Oh, how you doing? How nice you to doing? meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. He's joining us all the way from France. Wow. Blam. You're Blam. Yes, yes you are. Blam. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I saw this the other day. This is the new 8-inch? These are the new 8-inch. So this is the new Live, Live 2. So all developed by Guy. So they're um, really designed around sound profiles. So you take, you know, the 8-inch. This is more of an application driver. You know, but I mean, this is Dude, a... it's super shallow for yeah, an 8 super shallow. So, so this is a mid-base. This is a mid-base or mid-range driver. Yeah, you can, okay. you know, just depending on how you set it up. Does that go underneath the seat of a BMW? This is, uh, it's not the same frame as... I know it's not the same frame, but uh, it yeah, looks close. Yeah, it might be pretty close. It's close. Yeah, so, but these are really cool because they're set up as kind of sound profiles. So 
like the 165A is an acoustic type of sound. Okay. So kind of a live, you know, design tune for that. Um, there's uh, 165P, which is power, so much more powerful. This is sound. the one that's supposed to make your ears bleed. Yeah, bigger voice coil, more output. And then application, like with the, this is a 165S, so solo. So not only is it um, a little bit different sound profile, it's also very shallow as well. Oh, wow. Oh, so, Look at that. Dude, that looks light. Yeah. Wow. Neo motor. Dang. You know, but really, okay. just, you know, application, but really nice sounding. So, so definitely you guys have different application for a So it's not, customer. yes. All right, I like this because it's not good, better, best. It's this type of sound, that type of sound, and that type of yeah, sound. Exactly. This was the concept. Uh, the concept because um, when we think to design new speaker, we were thinking what we can bring uh, to, to the market, what answer we can give to the customer who like to listen more, uh, for example, more acoustic. Right. Also, we have another product with uh, in this line, uh, which is very famous, is the uh, LSQ. Um, because a lot of people like uh, to enjoy uh, sound like, uh, you know, oh, sorry, like uh, vinyl sound. And right. we designed this uh, speaker uh, to make very warm uh, and uh, very uh, open and very joyful sound. For, you, for this, we designed a special woofer with a uh, very high quality cellulose uh, cone with bamboo inside. To make bamboo? A, yeah, it's a bamboo oh. fiber. Okay. Inside. Uh, it's ah, a, it's a like. Um, and um, this, um, it's, it's brand new basket as you can see. All the part is totally designed from uh, zero uh, to give this uh, sound and uh, we call this the French sound because. Especially on his speakers, the voice is uh, very open, very natural, and at the same time, it's very um, dynamic and a very loud sound. I um, love this idea, though, because this, for example, if, we, if you compare with this one, okay, uh, the, because of the shape of the material, of the length of the cone, of the profile of the cone, and also of the crossover with different, because this come with four 12 dB crossover. This one come with also four crossover, but six and twelve mix. Okay. It's given type of sound a little different. This one have much more efficiency. This one lower efficiency, but this one have more details, more precise in the details, a little more analytic. When you listen guitar, for example, it's very nice to avoid the harmony. You can enjoy it. Yeah. This one you listen what uh, whatever uh, uh, funky music or something. It's very you. Yeah. Full, full sound. I like they try to give a uh, different answer uh, for a different customer. As you see this one, it's very big magnet, very long excursion possible, very big power handling. For the young guy who want to listen, uh, for example, uh, techno, electro music. Like me, I like that music. kind of music. Like yeah, that's your, that is definitely that's your speaker. Okay. That that one over there is my yeah that's all yeah, that, yeah that's, that's like and that's the yeah oh totally. <laughs> and, uh, this one has a very long uh, 15 millimeters uh, voice coil. It means as uh, when you play rap music, yeah, you have big bass and you have voice, okay. but the voice is still very clear because either with big excursion, the um, speaker is still under control and the voice yeah. can be reproduced without distortion, and it gives something who is really interesting because you have all the good balance. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of things. It's a lot of I fun. Like <laughs> I think it's a great idea because, I mean, there's a lot of people that, like, like I know with other speaker manufacturers, it's like you want to like that brand, but you, it, it's, their sound signature is annoying. Mm -hmm. With yeah. this, you have something for everybody. Yeah, like, right. that's, right. that's, yeah. that's genius. Yeah. I love our, it. Our idea is really to listen. Uh, driven by passion. My passion is to listen music. Yeah. And I like to listen music uh, that I like, but I like share music. And uh, maybe Diego is going to tell me, oh, listen to this song. And it's not something, something I know, but it's very good when you can share and we can have some speaker who can express. Different perspective yes. of the music. Yes. 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 Right. Yeah. But of course, a good speaker can play all kind of music. Right. But uh, Some do it better than others. <laughs> of course, but uh, instead of making uh, one grey, one yellow, one blue, and just put some trifles, you need a 
concern is to have an idea, a concept. This is very important. That's awesome. Nice. I, like, I like that style of, of the speaker. Why haven't you told me this before? I'm joking. I'm yeah. joking. You haven't had time. You gotta hear it from the man first, right? Dude. Where else are you gonna go when the owner of the company is gonna give you a presentation, right? Thank you so much for your time. This was awesome. We're gonna learn more from you later. So let's go on to the next thing. Thank you, Guy. That was wonderful. Nice show. See you guys. See ya. We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about this because. This little guy right here is five channels of magic, and look at that. Ooh, yeah, that's five bigger. channels yeah. of magic. So definitely, we we're, we're, that's going to be in another because video. What car is going to? Very important. Yeah. Um, There's so Anthony's car there. His audio frog. Looks like somebody's probably in it right now. So we yeah. can't take a look at it. But we'll come. We're gonna try to come back because I really want to see what that looks like. Yeah. So yeah. we'll. So let's go back. Oh, okay, so we have. Wow. What is? Oh, is that an X? That is awesome. Dude, is that an NSX? Yeah, that is. Oh, that is an NSX. Wow. So this is. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. 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 I don't know what it's got in it other than Rydeen, but I I just wanted to honestly see the car. It's beautiful. All right, we got to go here. Let's see what we got going on here. What do we have in here? I don't know. Expert. All right. All right. So for all these people that like DV drives. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's just like it seems like they have a product for everybody, right? Look, look this type of subwoofers over here. I'm wow. looking at it. I'm touching it. I'm feeling yeah. it. Okay. How you doing? Sacramento. Good, how are you? Pretty good. What are we looking at? All the DB Research products, the DB, WDX amplifiers, WDX subwoofers, the big bangers, ground pounders. Big bangers and ground pounders. Is that actually what they're called or is that, that is, just what, what we a, the category? A factory definition street slang. Yeah. I, I love that. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, big I'm going to use that. Can I use that? You can, it's yours. You own it. Dude, that you is phenomenal. It. What would you like to tell our, our viewers about your product? Uh, best value in the industry. Nuts and bolts when you come down and look at a DB Research product, especially DB Drive. What we offer you is the price, the performance, and the value that you find in some of the other brands that are typically found in a car audio shop. What we offer you is in three Ps. We're going to give you pricing, protection, and profitability. So we keep the stuff clean so you can make money in a brick and mortar retailer. We help you make money. We're going to give you good profit margins. We're going to also give you the profitability that you can sell more. themselves what you've got here is something that you find on a, a, a traditional display board or some online store that promises big numbers and it gives you all these big things that you see on paper that says hey I'm gonna give you this and I'm gonna Hope, give you that. hopes and dreams yeah what we do is we give you realism realism here we give you something that you can physically see whole taste touch and feel that's going to give you performance so we put a real number on this stuff, especially with these WDX amplifiers, that if we say that it can handle this much, it can. We've been in the business for... You mean months. you're honest? We A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lie to you, but I won't lie to your customers. How about that? There you go. I, I like that. So 20, 20 years we've been in business with DB Drive as a brand, and what you find here is we've become known for something that is, is giving somebody the best value in the industry. I'm not the cheapest guy that's out there. I'm not the most expensive guy that's out there. But what you're going to find here is the most satisfaction. Somebody can spend their budget on a couple subs and an amplifier, put it in their vehicle, and be exceptionally happy with what they would spend for somebody else getting less performance. That's what we are, just value, value, value. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Well, thank, oh, thank you so much hey, for your time, you. man. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thank you. All right, so let's say, okay. 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 ok
Thank you for your time. You got it. Good job. All right, what do we have? What sounds? What sounds? You get wet with sounds. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, marine audio at its finest. Definitely, that's uh, complete marine amplifier. This is cool. This is a sound bar here, Bluetooth, a full controller, so you can just mount this up to a, uh, a an overhead top, and boom, you're done. Put power, ground. Control it. LED lighting, of course. Oh, okay. Hey. Uh, and of course, I mean, if you guys remember, I, I believe last year uh, they took oh, the about coolers. the coolers. Yeah. So this allows they you to have. They took about the coolers with the bar. Yeah. So this so, is even simpler. Right. Just hit the button and go. So take nice. it to the beach. You take it anywhere. Have, have a lot of fun with it. Go oh. crazy. Oh, look, it's Alpine. Hey. <laughs> and it's Ken! What's up, Ken? How are you? How, you doing? Yeah, how are you, doing buddy? Very well. What's going on? Not much. What's going on with you? Fest. Yeah, how you been? Yeah, very, very good. Come and see all the new exciting things we got. I want you to show them yeah, to me. Yeah, tell us about the new stuff. All right, so the X49 WRA JL, the brand new piece for the JL body chassis for Jeep. Uh -huh. So basically 2018 and up. We just did one of these uh, last week. So I love the new box, by the way. The retro look on the new box. Have you seen? Yeah, have you seen the new box? The Alpine box? Yeah. Have you seen it? Yes, we put, we just put one of these in. That's awesome. That's awesome. I like this. You know, it's got the retro blue diagram box from like the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just the, the, the line drawing box. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's really, really Made me feel really old, thanks. Uh, yeah, so a lot of dealers are well embraced on this because the screens that come from the factory, even the large 8 inch screen, shrinks down to seven when you plug in carpool. This was this was a really nice touch. And with the Maestro kit, you still get to control yes. the uh, factory volume. When we put it in, we didn't even think about it. We knew it would do it. We didn't even think about it. The customer walks up, and the first thing he did was grab the knob and turn it up. And he go crazy. He's like, "Oh my God, I still have a full control." And then uh, we decided to go this year a step up to an 11-inch screen on our Halo version. Before you do that, though, because we're tell me about this. This, this is a uh, this for the same model. This is a JL bar. upgrade for the Jeep JL. Okay, so how, it comes with the factory four-inch. Yes. So what you see here is the grill and speaker all built into one kit where it's just a drop-in. You just have to do a slight modification to fit the magnet. <laughs> so you're just cutting a little bit of plastic and then you just bolt into the factory bolts right in there. Grill comes with all, the grill? Comes with it as one piece. That is nice. And that's for the pair. Okay, I like that. Now, I'm sure all our fans definitely want to see the 11-inch. So let's yes. take a look at that. Uh, well, uh, well, here, let's let's talk about the box let's first. Because we're going to talk about a uniqueness of a box here. Okay. So, we, this is our S-Series version, but it comes in S and R series. Uh -huh. And it's a single box with the, with the part that we control here, which is a KTX H10 that allows you to bolt it onto the back of the box so you can bolt the two boxes together. Oh, okay, okay it goes then, that way. So you can see the bracket on the box. Yeah, and that's metal. Yep, and then on the front, we allow you to have this attachment here to fasten the front together. This and, is metal too? Yes, okay. and so basically you can make one box into two, and it's our path to, it's our upgrade path. So if you want to just buy one box today, you think you have more base, 
All you have to do is buy the second additional one and bolt them together. And since we're using the same box for R or S series, if you want to upgrade the woofer, you don't have to buy the box. You can just buy the woofer and uh, screw it right in. So it works with the S and the R, R series. Time. That is yeah. awesome. And if you guys want to see the R series right over here, it's actually in the back of the box. So you can see here, we have the halo look where the box is actually elevated a little bit. And then even the amplifiers down below are there. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys could see that with our brand new processor. So that's a 1616? That? That's a new 16 channel, right? Yeah, it's a new 16 channel. So pretty. In and out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we know. We've been we've been studying yeah. it. So, I'm not yeah, saying right, I, I, I yeah. So let's go over here. Yes, let's see this bad boy. Let's look at one other We're just gonna I'm gonna squeeze through here real quick. Sorry, sorry, excuse me. Last year we had a power pack yep. GTA four fifty. Yep, okay? love it. Love it. So now it bolts on the back of the radio. Yep. So you can see from the picture here. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that's nice about it is a lot of people say, well, the radio already has built-in power. What happens if I just want to add sub? So taking that same concept, we're going to add a KTA 200 amp, and it also has our DPP peak power chip in there. What will allow it to jump up to double the power during the peak of the sine wave, or I should say musical note. So one there you of the go. things that does that, it allows you to take the 200 watts to 400 watts, so it actually sounds like it's a much more powerful amp. It still bolts right on the back of the radio, so installation now, time is only half. I, I know what everyone's going to ask, and we've done this, we've reviewed this, we've used this, we've done everything with that. We know how that works. Because it's a sub-amp, I know people are going to be concerned about heat. Is it equal to that? Yeah, so since we're using an ice-powered chip, there's okay. no heat at all. And that's so, why it can be buried in the dash. Yes. All right, let's let's take a look at this. So one of the nice things now we got over here to the ILXF 411. Okay, this will be out early summer, Perfect. and it's basically a step up from our nine-inch halos that, that we've had. So so big. From, it's almost the size of a sheet of paper. But what's great about that? It's a safety issue because. Uh, the icons are so big, they make it really easy to use. I can see that. So, you guys change the whole thing. Even yeah. my blind person can see this. Yeah. And we're going to add HDMI uh, to it, and along with Maestro as well. You guys going to wow. add it later? Yeah, from our 7-inch version that we have on an ILX 259. Yeah, so, so this is going to be more like the 309 with... Yeah, it's like a 309 uh, just without HD radio. There you go. Who listens to radio? Don't say it. I know there's some of you out there that listen to radio. It's okay. Yeah. I'm one of them. Anyways, dude, okay, does this have this? the same style mount? Yeah, everything is still single DIN chassis ISO mount. But is it like that same big metal mount, or is this an updated version of that because no, the screen's bigger? Is the same. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so it can hold the string. All right, so I know the question. So if they have a current 309, 259, the mounting structure is going to be the same. They still have to replace both pieces, but it'll bolt right in as far as side to side mount. They won't have to. Absolutely. Okay. So it has five positions uh, vertically. Yep. <laughs> then it has 20 degrees tilt back, and then two other positions, 20 and 40 degrees tilt forward. So any limo applications or anything where you can tilt it down. So. And that's have plenty of options. <laughs> that's the new base knob. This is a new halo base knob so it's not a volume knob it's just like uh, what we had for our rucks but we figured that it also comes with the kit where you can actually uh, tape it right to the side of a halo okay. and it has the same family look or it just looks much nicer in the dash yeah uh, whether it's center console or or dash mount is that all one and knob it's wired it's not wireless Ooh, that's all one knob that's all one piece it feels it's like yeah, a it's so like that, a, that a nice really nice, yeah. it, it's like a dj knob it rolls so smooth Ooh. that is awesome ah. i like it but uh no i i want to thank you guys for coming by because you guys make fantastic videos <laughs> thanks ken a long time <laughs> thank you you know and uh, everybody gets a kick out of it and uh, it's a real pleasure for us to be on your show 
Thank you, Ken. Oh, thank you, thank you for showing us your product. Thank you, Ken. All right, Fernando, Dean. Thank you. All right, so right here we have the MEA booth. We don't need to look at that. That's just a lounge that we can go to and chill out if we have time, which of course we never do. So we have escort, radar detectors, Cobra, fun. Hey! What? I just talked about it. This is registration for all that. But let's go over here and look at this. What are we having here? We have radar detectors. So just remember, the grade level is really bad. I know. The only people they have fast cars. Well, I've got, I've got one of these. Yeah, you do. I just don't know which one. And of course, he's busy. And he's busy. Oh, they're talking about jammers. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Fernando. Hey, how are you? Good. Uh, tell me about your product. Okay. Well, before you tell me about that one, which one of these goes to that cool Kenwood radio that I have in my dash? So, any of the, the two CI units will actually work with the Maestro RR2 on that, as well as the Max 360C dash. That's the one I got. Two shifters. So yeah, we actually sent that one so you kind of for yes, a while. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, and, I, and, I'm, and I want to apologize right now because I haven't made the video on it, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Good. Well, that's the <laughs> bottom line, right? Good. <laughs> so that's, it's, it's unique. You know, the, the nice thing about CI product is not everybody that does CI product is really going to be in a situation where yeah, they're yeah, repeating the back radio. Oh, they're right. usually in higher dollar cars. And then if you start doing some situation. higher This one here really is going hand in hand with a lot bigger volume uh, potentials. And that's why I liked about it because like this really isn't our business model, but that is. Yes, absolutely. I even went and ordered the cool extra mount that goes down from my mirror. The blend mount. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 I know, right? And it's still sitting in my toolbox. <laughs> but let's let's talk about radar detectors because I'll be the first one to tell you I don't know enough about them. So maybe you can fill me in, and that'll that'll move. Yeah, let's do that. So let's so let's go our, through. Our lineup really, as far as the escort detectors, start at the X80, which is our 299 retail piece. This is kind of your your weekend driver. It gets you into something that's going to give you good basic protection. If you move up from there, you're going to go to the IXC, which takes this and gives it better performance and better range, but also intelligence because we've added GPS at this level. The GPS basically tells you, hey, you know what? I know where you're at now. I know how fast you're going, so I can do cool things about it. So now I can start locking out false alarms automatically. Now, does this, one, is this, this also tell me when I'm going too fast? Uh, well, it can. Yes, it has that capability as well. Yeah, okay. I get yes. that a lot. Yes. <laughs> uh, the other thing it has is is the capability to show you every red light camera, every fixed speed camera, speed traps, air, airport, or, uh, excuse me, airline traps, that type of stuff. All of that is built into a database that's actually incorporated in the unit. And they actually and now, warn that... you when that happens. Correct. Yes. Okay. Does that one pair up with the app? So all of our detectors will pair up with the yeah, because that's all the way down to the 299. So that that when this when you have the the phone on the dash, you have that, then that's where you, it'll right. do the whole GPS cool thing. And right? even more, that phone doesn't even have to be up and open. Obviously, there's a lot of information when it is, but yes. that information will come across onto the screens of our display as well. Oh, okay. So if you're coming up on that that uh, say Escort Live hit, you'll actually see it on the display here, even if you don't have the phone open. Okay. Oh, phenomenal. Uh, the cool thing about that app also, too, is it allows you to program all of the, the complex set of features that you can do on all of our detectors through the app as well. So yeah, oh, yeah. There. Yeah, we know. Right. <laughs> so moving up from the 449 IXE is to the Redline EX. The Redline EX is really the IXE on steroids. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. Explain. So it's the same type of feature set. They do the exact same thing. This one will essentially triple your sensitivity on the actual radar receiver itself. So you have a ton more actual range of how far it can really see down the road. On top of that, it has a unique feature that we call True Stealth. The stealth feature basically means it is completely undetectable by any radar detector detector on the market. Really? Very, very important if you live in the state of Virginia, travel through Virginia, Washington, D.C., or Eastern Canada, where they use radar detector detectors to make sure you're not using them. Wow. So the only piece on the market in a dash mount configuration that is completely immune to that, right to the gun. Wow. 
What's this camera looking thing next to it? So the M1 camera is an HD dash cam that you actually not really going to see a whole lot here unless I open it up. But it can That's okay. be added to any of the detectors with our power cable and our mount. So essentially you can see on here, you attach it to our mount with the little arm and then the power wire that would be normally powering the detector will now power this and you'll have a little uh, a jumper Excellent. over to mm -hmm. do that. Does that work on this? It absolutely does. Oh, okay. So now you have two different types of sources in one spot. I love that. Yes. All right. Yep. So going on to this one here, the Max 360C is our top of the line dash mount detector. Also our best selling by far. We probably sell more of these and all of these put together. In, in there again, yes, I know. We've had people come in with them because of the Kenwood, because we've talked about it and like we've done, we, we, we've shown people what it'll do. And they've actually responded like, I saw your video, I want my radio. And right, we're like, right. uh, we're just waiting on the RR2s. <laughs> right, yeah, well now they're there. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Well, it, but the bad thing was they go, well, you have one, let me have yours. I'm sure, like, uh, yes. no. <laughs> we had a couple of those guys too. So. <laughs> so the cool thing about, from a detector standpoint, where this is better than all the other ones, this is the first unit that actually has a digital processing front end on the radar. So every detector has to actually sweep the actual frequency that it's looking for, because they're radio detectors. Mm -hmm. So this one can do that sweep 100 times faster than the analog ones. So far more accurate, far more specific as far as what it sees. Better filtration, uh, better just, you know, your range actually is significantly not quite what this is, but it's very, very close, just based on the fact that it's processing digitally. It also, more importantly, has arrows. The arrows actually add the sense of directionality to where the threat is coming from. Now you know just by simply looking at the arrows, you're coming up to the signal or the signal's coming up to you. So this one is 360 degrees? Well, all of them are 360 degrees because that's how radio waves work. Okay. This is the only one that will identify 360 degrees okay. by arrows. It actually has multiple sensors to do that. And it very politely tells you what the heck is going on. Correct. So on top of that, you also have two new units here that are called the Cobra Elite models. Okay. Now, Cobra's always traditionally been a lower entry level piece. Yep. What these are are what we call our Elite models. And the Elite models have actually taken much of the technology, almost entirely technology from the Escort units and put them into a, a different case. That one's neat looking. This is cool looking, but let me start with this one here. Of course, so we of just course. talked about the Max 360C. This essentially is an identical in performance and feature set with arrows to the Max 360C, but it'll retail at $200 less. The major difference is the arrows, instead of being on LEDs and, and a little bit uh, better aesthetic looking, will be actually on the display itself. Okay, but wow, that's, the same that's a hell of a savings. Yes. This one here is also unique. So the, the radar uh, portion of this unit is very similar to the IXC unit in the middle. What we've done here is we've taken that $200 M1 dash cam and actually built it right into the unit. Oh, that has the dash cam. Yeah, so this has a radar oh. detector and dash cam in one piece. Oh, uh, I love that. At 449. I'm a big fan of com uh, of combining things. That's why when I saw the camera, I was like, wait a minute, wait, I, oh, okay, yeah, I love that. Saving. It's getting multiple technologies into one spot. I well, know. you don't also have to have, pardon the pun, Mexican phone pole on the radio. <laughs> You know? Wow, you just went there. That, 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 it's okay, that, they know, you know. Okay. Nothing but love, bro. Uh, Peace and love. So our dash cams, it, it, you know, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on these totally are understand. very, very good uh, HD dash cams, front rear channel, front. The cool thing about here is we talked a little bit about the app that connects all of these things. These ones are actually also on that connected network, which means if you have a dash cam and you have the app open, you will actually get all the alerts with the red light cameras, the fixed speed cameras, and other radar detector alerts through your dash cam. Oh. It's the only dash cam on the market that can do that. Bonus. Ah, right. That's phenomenal. So, and then at the far end there is our two levels of CI, which is what we yeah, talk to this. It's hard to throw it up on the screen. We have what we call the IXCI, which is essentially the replacement for the old 9500 CI. It does everything that old 9500 CI does, oh, yeah, but better. Yeah. Better range, better performance so of the radar, better technology as far as eliminating all your CAS systems or your collision avoidance systems, false alarms, has better laser technology to basically cover everything that's out there. Uh, it's also fully updatable, so as things change, this has the hardware to accept those changes. The old system did not. 
Okay. So this one here, this one you know, retails at twenty two hundred bucks. A lot of guys will do these in the three thousand dollars. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, this one here is our Max CI three hundred and sixty. I got our my top of line piece. So we go back to some of the technologies that we talked about with the digital processing on it. Uh -huh. It's going to have the digital processing. It's also going to have the stealth capability of the red line built into it, and it's going to have a sensitivity that is unmatched with anything else on the line. So if they live in that that state that says no, no, no. They can buy this yes, yes, CIA yes. And then oh. we talk about ultimate range and sensitivity. This is better than anything else. So basically, you guys combine all the, the whole line. That's and everything. everything that. Correct. Yes. Awesome. This is your flagship piece. This one retails at $3,600. It also has the front and rear, so it has the arrows built into it. It comes with four laser shifters as well for your laser defense systems. Typically, these go around five grand and solid. And yeah, all. easy. Yeah. For sure. But if you use speeding, I'll send you the link. You need it. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking some time out and telling me about this. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on, Wave Tech. Look at this. Look at, look, at, look at what he's done over here. Look what Jason's done over here. Look at this mess. This ain't your workbench. And it also has an aux source. Look at him. That's for a remote control car. This is what drains the battery. Wi-Fi, battery power. He's out here teaching some learning on. See, this is he's a designer engineer, so he just doesn't know how to cut his hair. <laughs> but let's take a look and see what we got over here. So they just came out with their six channel. So now they have the four channel, the six channel, the eight channel, the two channel. And that's a toy? I don't know what that is. Oh, this is a load. This is the load. This has a load. I don't know. Maybe we'll get someone to tell us what that is. Uh, I think the neck is on the outside of it. So you can adjust the effect, put the unit away. Oh, he don't want to talk on camera. He, no, he doesn't want to talk on camera. <laughs> yep. All right. So let's go around. Nakamichi. Nakamichi back in the market. Look at that. Wow. Karaoke? What is that? Talk, talk to me. That looks you guys couldn't afford to make a heat tank for this? Start radio, huh? Follow you guys on Facebook. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're going to know about... What are you guys doing? You're back. Yeah, we're, we're back. We're back. We're back in the, back in the saddle. Uh, we hired um, uh, Robin McNeil, who so set up your national uh, sales manager for... $1,000 This is insane. Name brand that, uh, this is a prototype, so recognize. Okay. should be having more awesome ones uh, coming in, hopefully, by the, uh, sometime this year. Okay, so this is a prototype. Is this going to be A, B, A, D? Oh. Okay. Yeah, right here. It's going to be a six channel. Uh, oh, six channel. Six channel. With tubes. So is it a, the tubes? Is that like a? Is that on the preamp section? Do we know. Am I asking technical questions that you're going? Why are you asking me that? Let's just call it a tube amp. Shut up, Dean. Robin will have all the answers for you. All right. How you doing? Why don't you come over around here, Fernando? You guys are five star. Yes, we are. I've seen many of your videos. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I have to be like that. I thought honestly, I thought he was on a pedestal. I, oh, no, you're I'm you're a sure. tall guy. Okay, so let's talk about here this. Here you go. Let's talk about it. Here you go. <laughs> All right, so now we're the same guy. <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. <laughs> All right. Tell us tell us about this product. Um, well, Nakamichi, as you guys know, has been around for a long, long time. It's always been a super, very high-end product. Before that, I was. So we are uh, introducing a tube amplifier. This will come out uh, probably Q2 of this year. It's got uh, a preamp stage, it's going to use the 12 AX7 tubes. It's the same tubes, the vacuum tubes, the same circuitry idea behind the Fender amplifiers for the guitar. Sweet. You know, all your Fender amps, most of them are tube amplifiers, as well as a lot of your high-end home amp products. It's still use tubes. I love it. I'm sold. And it's a six-channel. Six-channel amplifier. What's the power on it? Uh, 600 times 
one. I'm sorry, six. Yes. Quads times but I knew what you meant. Yes. I knew what you yes. meant. Yes. So you guys are coming out with a full, pretty much full line. We're, we're we just came back to the U.S. in May as a full relaunch. Okay. So we got some nice retro-looking radios. I, I, I use the term retro. They, they look like Nakamichi. Okay. Right? Yes? yes. Yeah. Are they over here? Oh, let's take a look. Yeah. So what are we having here? Um, this is our wrap-up hardware plate. We've got one right now. We've got a wireless one on the horizon. Cool. Okay. Um, this is just a singled in CD player. I say just, but. Uh, I know what you mean. We're, yeah. we're in that game. And then we've got some necklace pieces too. Nice. Speakers, Some amplifiers. Speakers, amplifiers. We're getting our feet wet relaunching products, so it's starting out small, but we're expanding. Okay. So, what's going to be the focus of the company, as far as other than making money? I mean, other than making money. Um, to be honest, it's bringing back the name. It's uh, offering some exclusivity to the dealer. Okay. Um, it's amazing. We've been to several trade shows, SEMA, CES, and now this one. And everybody's like, oh my gosh. Not yes. Not back. It's like, wow, I remember that name. I'm so interested. Let me sign up. So we're taking people to sign up on our email list. We're sending out e-blast, keeping people, as well as consumers, informed of what's coming up on the line. How do they do that? Where do they go to sign up? Oh, just I have a list right here. Okay, come on. They can find you at nakamichi.com. We have a global website, it's nakamichicaraudio.com. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Yep. Nakamichicaraudio.com. Okay. okay. That's awesome. What are what do we got here? That's our DSP unit. That's our standalone DSP. It's what are, uh, six in, twelve out. Okay. It's got a dongle here for uh, Bluetooth. That's that's interesting. Six in, twelve out. Correct. Okay. Would you have it any other way? Uh, that's good. I mean, yeah. come on. Sweet. And this uh, is a regular amplifier? Yes. Okay. It's a six channel, eight channel, ten channel? Uh, it's four channel mini amp. Oh, all right. There you go. Small. That's cool. Do they make a sub amp for this? Partner it with? Yet. Not yet. It's, it's, that's actually on the drawing board. We'll probably have that later this year. This is available and shipping now. What is retail on something like that? Uh, one ninety nine. Okay. How much power is it? Uh, that is realistically 50 by 4. Okay. So it's cool. So it's a nice okay. little upgrade to a... Uh, like a head unit or, or something to power an amp or hide in the dash or... There are a lot of the units now, like some of our units you can now have the DIN, they have a half DIN in the back. Yep. So this is something you could fit up underneath and not taking the extra space behind the dashboard. I like it. Thank I like it so a much. lot. Uh, Thank you for telling us. When, it, when are we expecting this? This guy here? Yeah. Q2. 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 Yeah. yeah. All right. Not you two, Q2. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. SOS. Duel. Hey. What's going on, guys? How What's new from? Oh, you guys do it all. So let's talk about what you guys are doing here. So you got the new, you got new Duel. You guys are a distributor. Yes, we're a global distributor in downtown LA. Downtown LA. So you guys supply all these guys that are hanging out here. Yes, That's cool. So what do you guys distribute? Uh, we distribute everything from Duel to Jensen, JVC, Pioneer, Kenwood, Rockford. All really? Yeah. All right. So like, Duel's not here. What's new this year from Duel? Because you're the guy. You're going to have to fill in for the role. From Duel, right now, we got the 10-inch screen. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now, being a Duel guy, do you find it kind of funny how the floating radios are, like, everyone's taking, like, yeah. and, Ever like, you guys Alpine have had the, this. The, first Alpine, the floating one, the Halo, everybody decided to go with the Halo units. Yeah, but you guys have had it forever. Uh, the Duel one? Didn't you guys have the Duel? Not the floating screen. Okay. something similar to it, but not like this. But not yeah, like yeah. This. yeah. This okay. one already includes Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you know, where's your iPod, your iPhone, Bluetooth. It's not wireless? wireless. No, not wireless. It's okay, wireless. it's wire. Okay. Yeah, it's wired directly into it. And obviously, you have a double thin chassis to it. Oh, it's got With a 10.1 inch. Oh, and a volume yeah. knob. Yeah. Is that a volume yeah, knob? Yeah. I like and the volume knob. And they're only going to come out probably like in about another month or two. Oh. They're going to release the single thin uh, model of this to replace it. So Ooh. it's a single thin chassis with a double thin face. Same oh, I like it. Another Halo unit you'd find on the market right now. Okay. Nice. nice. It's phenomenal. Well, if you got one prod in here, tell me about it. Jensen oh. Head in the same direction. So you have the same thing in the Jensen model. Okay. Because okay. yeah, they're the really same company. Similar, yeah. Same company, same everything. It's just two different, uh, obviously, uh, vendors. Yeah. Okay. They're all in the same branch. And then as far as uh, the new product, this is our other new unit, the 2529. But it's also the same thing, 6.2 Bluetooth, USB, works with uh, iPhone or Android. But now it's not like a full Android, uh, an Android auto or a carpet yet. Okay. It's just, you know, your standard usage for it. Oh, right. 
And then we have all the Stinger product. Oh, so you're the Stinger reps too? Yeah, we distribute Stinger, we distribute Dynamite, we're a big Dynamite distributor in downtown. Don't you love Dynamat? Yeah. You never get that stuff back, right? It's great stuff, great stuff. <laughs> There's no need for warranty on that, you know? And then, of course, we distribute JBC, Kenwood, and Pioneer. Pioneer. Oh my gosh, dude, Serving you sound Vegas. like us. Yeah, Serving Vega, too. Yeah, Serving Vega, we're Serving Vega distributors okay. also, yeah. Yeah, because we sell Pioneer, Kenwood Exelon, and then Alpine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly, we do the same thing. And where they can find you? We're located in downtown LA, so right off the 15th of Central. We've been there for over 17 years doing this. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time and telling us about the stuff. All right, so we've been there. We got access. We've been down that booth. So these guys make all kinds of neat screens and drop downs and lighting and cameras and backup sensors and USB hubs. And they make a lot of stuff. They make a lot of neat stuff. But chargers. If you're actually looking for a charger for your car, it's. Oh, nope. Oh. How you doing? Very good. How are you guys? Pretty good. What do you have? What's what new from Crux? Have? Well, Crux Interfacing is debuting multiple models of CarPlay, Android Auto, backup camera package, one SKU, all all the uh, features. Show me. Show you. We just released the brand new Lexus CarPlay product. So this is designed to plug in and give you CarPlay in a factory radio? Into factory radios. We have for BMW, Mercedes, Lexus, Audi, General Motors. Really? Yes. And unlike my competition, they will sell you a separate piece for the camera product and then a separate piece for CarPlay for Android Auto. We will give you all that in one SKU plug and play. That is okay. Well, there's millions of cars out there without these features, and we can provide the customer with a one SKU plug and play solution for millions of applications. A specific car, so they just go to the website and they find out. Absolutely. They go to crux.interfacing.com uh, or call Bob Herring, sales manager, Factory Direct. Okay. Awesome. Factory Direct. There you go. That's phenomenal. Like, like, you guys, like you guys see right here, we have uh, Cadillac radio. This, Cadillac radio. This gentleman right here is the radio specialist. Okay. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good. good. How are you? So good. We uh, we're sharing the booth a little bit with Crux because uh, we, we're very little known to the 12 volt world, but mm -hmm. we've been around for a long time. We've been in business 70 years. We've been These are the factory the replacement. These are factory replacement for General Motors. I've and heard of this. Cadillac had uh, a bad run of products. For no, a Cadillac with a bad <laughs> a run of products. Exactly. I'm, uh, I'm beside myself in disbelief. 2012 to 2018, almost every one of them uh, will yes. spider like that. It's actually a template uh, uh, that's in behind there that shrinks when it gets hot, and it makes it look like it's cracked, but it's actually just uh, that template shrinks up. Okay. Uh, there is no 12-volt Kenwood, Pioneer, or anybody that you can replace that with, right? It's just back to the Cadillac dealership, really, is your only option right. for the car's out of warranty, 12 to $1,800. Right. Uh, we offer this guy to the 12-volt uh, uh, world. Uh, we program it. We get the VIN number from you and program it to the vehicle before we ship it. So it's totally plug and play. All you have to do is get the old one out, put this one in, and you're ready to go. Uh, we sell wow. it to you at about 450 ish depending on the model. And uh, we also want the back, the old one back, so we actually charge you 650 and give you $200 back when you can send us back. Okay. So you're uh, remanufacturing this to make that? We're remanufacturing them. So you do like a core? Yeah, absolutely. And we do this for, we've, we've been doing this again with General Motors for years and years. We do all their radios and all their clusters. So if they don't have a Cadillac, can you guys still do other? In other GM vehicles, you can still get in touch with us for those. Uh, Where do they get in touch with you? Uh, instrumentsales.com or issautomotive.com both of them are uh, ISS Automotive is a brand new website for us that just launched last month keeping it simple it's right here it's right there <laughs> yeah I love that <laughs> Yes. Dude, that Thank is so sweet. Much, Absolutely. Thanks for Absolutely. taking your time. Yeah, enjoy the show. If you need any follow up or if you get any Definitely. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I got it. Nope, yep. take that. Oh, the car key guys. We make car keys. We saw you guys last year. Yeah. In Dallas. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good, thanks. Well, for all our new fans, let's do it again. Keys Express, we have a full line of automotive key replacement. We also recondition OEM products. 
what you're looking at here is our remote cases hey. and our remotes. What's that, Fernando? Oh, that's my remote. <laughs> In 2015, we won Apex Product of the Year for the Universal Car Remote. It works just like a Universal to your remote, but for cars. With just two SKUs, you can cover six billion vehicles on the road today. Holy cow! Comes with all the programming instructions inside, so your customer can take it home, do the programming to their garage. In their garage, it takes about two minutes. We've also taken that same technology and applied it towards modern car keys. These are also universal in nature, so they cover multiple year make and models. Once the blade's cut, it comes with an easy installer inside every box. Oh. This allows your customer to do the programming in their garage in about 10 minutes. Oh, and I see this one here. This one is, that's that, yeah. Is that for your car? No, but my wife had that one. That one's expensive from the factory. Yeah. You guys are. Dealerships will charge you about $350 yes. for that key. And then your customers can sell it for $149.99 in their stores. That's retail. Wow. Yeah, okay. that's the retail. So yeah. half the price. Half the price, exactly. What's new this year is our retail optical key scanner. This is great for shops that don't want to do the key cutting themselves. Customers can come up, plug in the year, make and model of their vehicle. It instructs them to take their key, stick it in the slot right here. We take a perfect picture of the blade. We decode it and send them a cut key. Holy cow. Wow. Really? It'll also come with one of our programmers. So if the customer has a car that falls within simple key, it'll do the programming using this. If not, the shop will use the programmer that we send in this box and do the programming itself. Okay, that's pretty phenomenal. Um, where do they find you to get a list of all the keys you guys cover? So we're Which is every car, apparently. <laughs> we're Car Keys Express. We do have a website that they can look up. Yep. We're also in Louisville, Kentucky, if they're in the area. We have a retail store. Well, there you go. Head over to Louisville, Kentucky, or just go there on the... Dude. Go to the website. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Good to see you again. Thank you. Massive. There you go. So all these people, they like uh, tiny amplifiers. Big and full of Oh, look at that. Hey, that's your tune, right? Okay. It's okay. Nice. Look at that. I like that. Two-tone, woven, sexy. Carbon fiber. Um, pretty cool tweeter. Look at this food. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's the heat sink. Oh, that's pretty sweet. That is, that is big. Okay. How you doing? Wonderful. What are we having here? It's a five-channel amplifier. Five-channel amplifier. Okay. Oh. We don't want to lie. No, no, we don't lie to that. It's also a coated board too. And on the back, uh, the five challenge, <laughs> four by one twenty and six hundred watts by one. Coated board. So this is marine. Marine, yes, power sports. Perfect. That's tiny too. I love. This. Look at that beast. Exactly. That is a thirty-two hundred watt. Thirty-two hundred watt. So. That's a nice big piece there. And it is 21 watts. And of course you guys carry loud speakers. Yeah, pro audio as well as standard audio. We have regular bass and go after them. We have our own bridge in the south. Correct. And I see that you guys carry the thousand movers across and everything. Yeah, the 300 watts. That's a shallow. The magnet, it's inside the boys' pool. Okay. That's cool. That is, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. All right. And of course, you guys carry the small thing. Yes, we, this is one of our middle sellers, the Hippo Series. GTX, which is the piece over here in the bottom, is our red and butter piece of the lights. I have a couple below that, 43 level. And then I have four of them on that. Four of them on that. That's awesome. Where can they find it? Okay, and they can go to the website. Thank you so much. Thank you. Becoming MECP certified. Race sport lighting. It's like a stripper club. Look at all that lighting. Look at it all. Oh my gosh. How are you guys doing today? We are doing well. Yeah. What do you guys offer? 
lighting. Yeah. Wow. It seems like I, that, I was going to say, that was the weakest question lighting. ever. Hey, do you, what, what do you guys do, man? Spotlight, what do you get? For what car? For anything. For anything. For anything. For anything. Marine, uh, trucks, vehicles, motorcycles, power sport vehicles. Name it. Oh, this is race. Okay, race sport lighting. I get their emails all the time. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so, what what is new this year? What are we What are we pimping? What are we? Right here, our Gen 4 LED headlight right here. Okay. New technology. We have the Medusa style heat sink for cooling. We have the clockable base. That's what they call that. Medusa well, that's our. That's our. That's what we call it. <laughs> Medusa oh, okay. Style. You know how Medusa and her. Oh, yeah, 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 there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Right there. All so, right. So when uh, installing this, if you have any like uh, problems with fitment and so forth, with, uh, with the LED lights that have band on it, you kind of lose that mounting depth and so forth. But with this, the uh, Medusa style heat sink band, whichever way. Makes it cool. That's awesome. Yep. That's nice. Well, where can they find your stuff? You can find us online. Yes. Uh, where? We have distributors. And then we have dealers all over, across the United States as well. Do you have a dealer finder on your website? Yes, we do. Well, what's your website? www.racefortinc.com. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. And in that, I mean, this is the... Well, I wanted to, to, to show off Anthony's car, and I apologize, Anthony, but it's still packed, so that's probably a good thing. Yeah. But if you guys want to know more about Anthony's car, uh, Junior did a, a bang-up job on it, definitely head over to Anthony's channel. I'll try to, I'll put a link in the show notes. I'll try to right. do my best, um, but. Let's go, let's go and see over there. I want to I wanna see the Cadillac from Brian. Uh, if you guys remember, Brian. I don't know if we have time for that, man. We're pushing. Quick, quick, we're pushing. Quick, quick. See, we don't. Look, somebody's already getting in it. I right. wanted to see it. There's Brian. Let me get him to just say, say hi. Hey, Brian, say hi. Oh, look at, look at Ricardo. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, guys. You still coming in February? Oh, yeah. All right, let like me know. Just text me yeah. or call me. You're gonna come back and get demo too, right? I, I'm gonna try really hard because I want to. I yes. This is way better than. Me. I know. Well then. Okay. No, definitely. Then I want to come. Don't yes. don't yeah. leave. Then we'll come as soon as this is over. Tonight? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. That's it. No, we gotta go back to the booth. We gotta we gotta give Chris his present. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And if I remember, I'll do like a quick video clip for you guys so you guys can sit inside the car. I don't know what it'll be worth, but you know, why not? Ooh, it's Chris right there. You see Chris. You see Chris? Chris. So I have Hey guys, how are you? Good, good, good. I don't mean to interrupt. We're gonna wrap this show up. Go get the present. Okay. Go get the present. You What's hold... happening? Dude, we're tired. We've just we've there's so much cool stuff here. We want to thank you too for for letting us well come out and be part of Audio Control and sponsoring the show and just making cool stuff, man. Nah, it's been our pleasure. We've uh, done all. Uh, everybody's probably seen you more than they already want to see you, but uh, everyone wants to see you, Chris. <laughs> but it's been because they all want to go. Hey, Chris, when's the five channel coming out? Yeah. Anyways, uh, hold it up. Before that, I'm going to say thank you, Chris, for all the support and support the show. I know, it's kind of weird. A UPS box! Yes! Woohoo! Okay, so there's a reason why it's in the UPS box, and that's because, as I recall, last year you got a gift from somebody else and it, it, it cracked. Oh, yes. This ain't going to crack. This one is all, all bubble wrapped and secured, huh? Yes. Uh, yes, awesome. it is. It's like Christmas. All right, hold on. No yeah. pressure. Oh, I love it! Look at this. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at this, you guys. There you go, man. Dude, that is awesome. We've I'll, done so I'll much for up, us this year. No, uh, I appreciate you guys and everything that's been going on. You know, we're, we're always out there trying to better everybody. Not yeah, like just we, our retailers, but our consumers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Educate the consumer, support the retailer, you know, uh, be there for every installer or tech in the country that needs support. So, yeah, it's been great. Thank you. Of course, you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Chris. And don't forget, uh, Audio Control is the sponsor of the show, Not Fest, Long Beach. Don't forget to check it out on the website. 
DMRTA, the new Fi Channel Amplifier. Stop dragging it out, man. Everything. Stop dragging it out. Bye. Thank everyone for watching. See you later Bye, next time. Guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys. Day two, we're out of here.